Yo, so, this is going to be one of those raw videos I was talking about on my Instagram. It's more just lifting focused, not really on the cinematics part, considering we're in prep now, so I don't really have um, much time to be, plus it's about to be finals, I'm about to be finishing up school, so just for the next like few weeks or whatever, I plan on just making a few raw videos, really just kind of documenting the prep, instead of trying to make everything so, um, trying to make everything so, like, I don't know, like, heavily edited and stuff. Yeah, and I still want to get stuff out for you guys, because, I mean, you know, it's just, it's fun, it's fun to make the videos, but, you know, it, sometimes you just have to really put the focus into training and getting better in that aspect, because nobody wants to watch someone that's shit at training. So, yeah, and I think that goes for a lot of things. Like, I'm not the... I'm not very strong by any means, but in terms of, like, some people, like, I feel like you just need to like, kind of, like, worry about the camera less and focus more on the lifting, and that's kind of what I'm doing right now. If you guys like the style, just let me know. Um, and, uh, yeah, we got deadlifts today. Um, I believe it's a 3 by 5 ascending in weight, and then we have um, paused bench press. So you guys are going to see all of that. And, um, yeah. Uh, like I said, though, we're definitely going to be trying to dial in the training more than anything right now. So as soon as school's done and all that stuff, we're going to get back to all the like really cinematic shit and really try to get really hard into the cinematic stuff and really try to take it to the next level from there. Um, I think it's good to also have like a creative reset sometimes. So a bunch of new ideas and stuff to put together for you guys because some, some, some things end up being repetitive and I love shooting cinematic stuff like I love the style of it but um I don't want to be like boring and just doing the same stuff over and over again I want to continue to like level up for you guys so um yeah that's enough yapping but we are like I said gonna hit these deads in this bench and uh yeah see you in there <laughs> So, um, it appears on camera, just by, like, timeline of the videos, that, like, we get to the gym and we hop right in the deadlifts, but, um, yeah, that's, uh, not the case. So, um, I'm gonna show the warm-up process, but, um, yeah, make sure you guys are warming up for all your compound lifts, especially in, like, if you're in, like, heavy, like, anything. I feel like it's always important to be warmed up for a lift to get the blood flowing. But make sure your body's ready to move, because when you're trying to do these, like, these are like explosive like fast fish movements and your body's not ready to like explode like that like on a deadlift or like out of a squat or something you're gonna like that, that's, how, that's how you fuck your shit up. Team for deadlifts is pretty simple it's just hamstring curls, quad extensions, back extensions and then we do the sus machine to get those get those hips right. Make sure you guys are warming up for your compounds because yeah you don't you don't want to fuck your shit up for real.
Yo, so that's gonna be that's gonna be all we have for deadlifts tonight. Um, just ran triple RP five, so we only ran three thirty for that. Because you know it is week one of prep. This is gonna be the last day of week one, so keep it nice and light. Three thirty. Hopefully, work and keep executing technique, everything as we should, and we should be in a good place to PR come meet day. Even before that, hopefully. Yeah, and then we had a 12% back down at 3x5 at just so 12% down, ended up being 286. So, um, yeah, we're pretty good. Throw on straps, we destroyed. Throw on straps because my hands are destroyed. So, um, yeah, but uh, we're gonna clean up this, uh, these weight. Yeah. We're gonna clean up these weights and then, uh, yeah, we get to move out the bench. So, uh, yeah, I've That's all we're gonna have for bench. Um, was also RP5 because once again it's week one. But um, we ran 176. It's a three count pause bench, so we hit obviously our double with that. Then we had two back downs. Um, and yeah, that's never never sexually work. Also with bench, um, it's been very interesting trying to figure out uh, which grip works because you know you have like the like bulldog grip sort of thing I was doing for a bit. Where like basically you need to like internally rotate your shoulders, usually first of the very wide bench press. But um, I don't know. It's uh something I've been like slowly straying away from going back to kind of the more like slightly closer grip, like pinkies on the rings, and um, you know, trying to do like the classic bend the bar motion. And that's been feeling good lately, so um probably gonna keep going with that, but uh yeah. Um, type for accessories, so. Side note, I'm also looking for headphone recommendations because I don't really like using AirPods that much. I just like over the ear kind of style. But, um, only one side of these works from uh, getting, from falling on the ground from about a year and a half of deadlifts. So, I mean, honestly, it's pretty impressive build quality when you think about it. Good for them to still even work a little bit because if you go way back in the old videos when I used to wear them all the time. Um, dude, you see this just get washed. I got washed today on my back downs, so they serve me well, but uh, I definitely need some new, some new over the ears. So if you guys have any recommendations, drop those below. I was thinking about going with Sony's, you know, match, match the camera type shit. But uh, yeah, I don't know. 
I guess, uh, yeah, let me know you guys do down below.